and that is almost the done we're almost almost the done almost the done with meal prepping welcome back to the vlog i am your host savannah sharp in this episode we're gonna go over a full day of eating and meal prepping this is going to be my first week of prep which brings us to a new bikini prep series. This is my 11th bikini prep. I can't believe we are here and we're getting ready for worlds. So let's figure out how many weeks out do I have, what you guys need to do at the beginning of the contest prep, what that should look like, and all of those bikini prep girl things. 20 weeks out and that is very early for me to be starting prep. So starting stats, let's bring up the stats. I wait in this morning at 157 pounds which is a little bit high because i did train legs pretty heavy so i am a little inflamed but i'm starting prep at 157 pounds and my last pro show i was 141 pounds so if we do the math i have 16 pounds currently from where i'm at to lose and 20 weeks to do it 16 pounds divided by 20 weeks is about 0.8 pounds or you know let's say a pound a week, which is very doable. That's not rushing, that's not extreme. I'm starting my calories at a really great spot. Right now my calories are 1,846 calories. Uh, I think my carbs are like 210, 45 grams of fat and 155, 160 grams of protein. Don't quote me on that because I follow my meal plan and I don't know the exact macros, but we do a once a week refeed of 1200 calories and the transition from prep to improvement season is a transition. There's, there's nothing crazy that's happening when we start prep. A little bit of cardio increases. I make a little bit more clean choices with the foods that I eat and slowly reduce calorie and slowly increase cardio. So right now I'm doing only three sessions a week of 25 minutes of cardio on a machine. And sometimes I'll walk my dogs and everything like just to get steps. But other than that, I don't have a ton of cardio right now and I have a lot of calories. So ideally my calories are set very high and my cardio is really low. So what happens when you start cutting is you have to manipulate these variables. So with my calories being super high, I can do one of two things. I can take my calories, I can drop my calories, calories or I could take my cardio and increase it. Rarely will I ever drop calories and increase cardio unless I need to drop weight really quickly. So ideally what would happen is we just increase cardio and keep calories as high as possible and then if we have to drop calories a little bit then we do so and so it's like we kind of are increasing cardio that's not really working we're kind of stalled okay let's drop calories and then at the very end of your diet they should have switched so now my cardio is super high and my calories are relatively low and then we'll do it a reverse diet and the goal is exactly to balance the scales that's ex that's all that's happening right now so i am going to order my groceries online right now from aldi and from dylan's those are the two grocery stores that i go to i haven't planned out my food so at the beginning it's sunday morning going into the week i like to plan my meals so what that looks like is i will take what i'm planning on eating multiply it by seven days a week figure out the quantity of stuff that i need and put it on my grocery list most of the time i like to go in the grocery store but when I start prepping, I need to not put items that are not on, like I have to just stick to the list. So if I order my groceries online, I cannot add anything fun or the other calories that are not supposed to be on my list into my cart. So I'm going to order my groceries for pickup right now. I'm going to plan my meals and then I'm going to show you guys and meal prep what my plans are. So stay tuned. And this is also gonna be a full day of eating video okay so groceries are halfway ordered i went to dylan's to get a couple things i got some blueberry frozen waffles this is half of it's for me half of it's for my boyfriend so i got him some salsa i got some protein kodiak cakes sugar-free syrup he got some taco shells and some potatoes so i got a little bit of stuff at that store but i'm gonna actually go in person because they were not available for delivery, so this is a little bit of a fail. We're still gonna have to go to the grocery store, but I made a list and I'm sticking to it. It's pretty simple. All that I'm having is 
egg whites. I have egg whites, oatmeal in the morning with some blueberries and raspberries that are frozen in my oats. Then I have either peanut butter or like a nut butter inside of my oatmeal. I'll have some egg whites, spinach, and peppers and onions in the morning. And then I'll have chicken as my protein source, chicken, frozen vegetables, carb sources. I have potatoes and rice and cream of rice to use. So I'll use that for carbs. And I have some tortillas and some taco shells if I want to do that. I have some cereal I'm going to get for Ninja Creamies because I am leaving it on Friday because I have a seminar, but I am I need some protein powder. So we need to go to GNC to go get some protein powder because I am fresh out protein powder. I'm going to get some asparagus and that's really it. It's not a lot of stuff because I, I like to use what I have. So we're going to go to the grocery store. here I might not be getting as much protein as I originally planned so if you are grocery shopping one of my biggest tips to you is make sure you check your cabinets in your fridge and your freezer figure out what do I already have and use that I really try to use everything I don't like to keep a huge stock of food and just waste it in my cabinets I like to just eat what I have for the week and that that's all that's all that I've done so I have shrimp and chicken and lean beef. It's over here and I'm gonna work on cooking it in just a little bit, but I took my morning vitamins. So I take T3 and T4 because I have hormonal issues as you guys know, because you've been following me. If, if not, you, you know that now. And then I took, what else did I take? Uh, spironolactone for acne and uh, fish oil and CLA in a multivitamin. But anyway, so I found my watchy watch. I have not been wearing this at all because I, I just don't know. I just, I didn't want to be sometimes like, I just got obsessed with my watch. It was like, if I didn't have a certain amount of steps, I would just be trying to hit my step count. And if I didn't, I felt like a failure, even though like, it's not a big deal if you don't hit exactly a number of steps every single day. And I kind of realized that, but I am bringing my watch back because of data, 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 data. It is important in prep that you are as consistent as possible. So tracking things like your daily step count and making sure your knee stays high, even when you're lower calorie. For me, keeping my knee high is the biggest factor because when I diet, I stop moving. My body wants to just literally sit down uh, I do, I usually have a sit down job, but I recently got a standing desk and that has changed my life. The, the week that I got my standing desk, I dropped two pounds and I've kept it off. And I think it's literally just from burning more calories from sitting or from standing versus being all crunched up and like sitting. So get a standing desk. If you don't have one, game changer for calorie burn. And I kind of rock back and forth in like step like this, so this is neat. This is me burning calories, and um, yeah, I'm gonna start recording this, or my steps. I do wanna show you guys what I'm having. This breakfast meal one is gonna start. It is 40 grams of oatmeal, 50 grams of frozen blueberries, microwave to perfection, a little bit of salt, and then some Biscoff but butter, or yeah, cookie butter. So this is my meal one. I'm gonna have um, egg whites too, but I'm not like, I'm not hungry. So I might just save that for later today. And I have my delivery for my groceries. It's supposed to be here at one. So if it's 10.30 right now, I'll probably end up going to Aldi, go to the grocery store. And then by the time I get back, my other groceries should be delivered. And then we can have a full day of cooking and everything like that too. Hey, you're live on YouTube. Okay, and I did get some new flavors of pre-workout. You guys know that I just try random brands that I like and 
Core has been a staple that I've always returned to their flavors. And I got these on sale at the Arnold Expo. So this is the Sour Candy Fury. And then Fury version two, Lemon Italian Ice. I think this is different caffeine. There's 125 milligrams in two scoops and Oh, it's the same caffeine, but there's something different with it. I don't know, there's two different. This is pump, focus, hydration, focus, energy, focus, energy, power, pump. So hydration makes me think that there's more electrolytes in it. The ingredients are, there's more ingredients in this. This has magnesium in it. Yeah, okay, so there's a hydration brand that has taurine and sea salt. Yeah, which is gonna help you stay hydrated. So. I just like the flavor of both of these. Recently, I've been switching back and forth. I like this one for lemon flavored and this is sour candy. So today we're gonna do sour candy and that's what I'm gonna do. All right guys, so we got meal prepping going full on. So this is the start of what meal prepping looks like. I already had some chicken, so I'm air frying some chicken tenders. I have some beef that I need to cook, so I might be cooking. Actually, I'll have to factor this in. But I have chicken and I'm planning on eating chicken for the rest of the week. I have these ready to serve rice earthly grains from Aldi. These are amazing and they taste really, really good. I like this and they have regular rice with the macros. This whole pouch has 390 calories, five grams of fat, I think 76 grams of carbs and nine grams of protein. You literally just microwave it. I'm gonna have one of these every single day. It just is so easy to cook. It's 90 seconds and you have almost like a full day or close to like half a day's serving of carbs. So I'm gonna use these as some carbs. I had some frozen vegetables, broccoli, asparagus, and these ones so i think yeah this is four servings so that's like two days three days two four days two four days six days so i almost have all vegetable i have some zucchini that i can use these are going to be really easy for travel because i am traveling this week so i'm actually going to meal prep backwards i have sunday which is a travel day Saturday, which is another travel day and Friday or seminar day, and then Saturday, Friday, I'm traveling. So three days, I put them in plastic baggies when I travel, and then the days that I'm home, I'll put these in meal prep containers. So I have my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner, and my snacks. So I'm gonna try to get this all planned in my mind. What I just did is I went to my fitness pal, I took my macros. I'm pretty happy with this. I am not, I have, one gram of fat, 24 grams of calories. So I'm a little under on calories, but my macros are almost perfect, so that's close enough to me. What I'm planning on doing, 40 grams of oats in the morning, 235 grams of egg whites, 80 grams of blueberries, and then I have my cookie butter, 31 grams. I'm gonna have a clementine. I'll have, I need to go get protein powder, but 40, four grams of protein powder, like pre and post. I'll probably do 22 grams before I work out and 22 grams after I work out. Muscle milk, I'll have one of those, maybe half pre, half post. Then two grams, or two plain rice cakes. Again, I'm probably gonna do the rice cakes. Maybe I'll do a rice cake before and then a rice cake and a clementine after. Five ounces of chicken with half of the rice as one of my meals for lunch and then a cup of broccoli. Then again, the rest of the carbs, chicken and vegetables. So that's it. That's all that I'm having. The macros for this is 200 grams of carbs, 34 grams of, I don't know if you guys can see that, 34 grams of fat and 155 grams of protein. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. And then once a week, I have a weekly refeed. I don't know if you guys, that, um, I will be in Washington, so that way I have some flexibility with that meal when I'm in Washington for the seminar this weekend. Um, on, let's say, Saturday night. I like to do Saturday nights or Friday nights. Let's say I want to get breakfast or brunch Sunday morning or like Saturday night. If they have like a fun protein bar, if I want to get dinner with somebody, 
I don't know, like that's, I have the freedom to do it. And whenever I'm traveling, I try to save my refeed days for the days that I am gonna be away because I could have my refeed on Thursday night here or on Sunday when I'm home. But if I'm traveling, like I might as well go out to eat or have something fun or just make it. That's what I like to do. It helps me stay adherent to my plan. So I personally like to use it when I am traveling. So I know that I can have something. My hair's a little crazy today. So chicken going down. I'm gonna do a microwave party. So what this looks like is 90 seconds in, then I'll meal prep it, then keep going. So these take about five minutes. I'm gonna try to do my rice first. I will cook it and then put it in my meal preps. I have volleyball this week. Um, actually, no, volleyball ended last week, but we're starting again, and I think in two weeks. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for fun. As far as cardio goes, um, I was just talking to my boyfriend about this. He did his cardio today on the Stairmaster. He's doing the 75 hard again and trying to get in shape with me. I am gonna start doing my cardio on the Sarah Master because it does make a difference. It does make a difference. So 25 minutes, three times a week, I'm gonna do on a Sarah Master instead of an incline treadmill. So I'll start that, honestly, today. I'll probably go do a session. And I'm gonna wear my watch. That's it. There's nothing else that's different. It's just meal prepping every single week and being consistent with meal preps. That's really the only thing that is changing and being a little like on my reefy days in the past i just kind of loosely tracked it i didn't really track it to a t exactly so now i will track it precisely just to make sure it's exactly 1200 calories or less for my repeats but i'm gonna get to meal prepping and i will show you guys what i'm eating at noon so i actually need to eat another meal pretty soon so i'm gonna have some chicken rice and broccoli okay so if you guys want to know, I just seasoned my beef. I had to put my hair up because things were getting intense. Anyway, so seasoning my beef, I use just like a low sodium taco seasoning. I won't use the whole packet. I'll just use it as like a, a sprinkle. I'll just use salt and pepper to season my ground beef. So it's like a taco meat. So I have rice with some vegetables and some lean beef, but it's going to be with taco seasoning. So when I, in my mind, I'm eating like a chipotle bowl, right? It's like a little taco bowl. But I just like the flavor of this. So I'll use this the whole entire prep, but I wanted to show you. Okay, so a little meal prepping hack. Um, I'm using these ready to serve rice is when <laughs> rice packets when I am meal prepping. One, because it's really fast. It literally cooks in 30 seconds. So I'll just pop one of these in the mic, or 90 seconds. I'll pop one of these in the, it's like a, this is what it looks like. Ready to serve, and this one tastes really good. But 90 seconds later, I will not weigh this. If, what I'll do is I will track one whole bag for one day. So then I can split it into two meals, or split it into three meals, or have like one big serving. But I just literally will like pinch it in half, put half of a serving in one little pan thing the other half in another little container. Even though it's not exactly precise, it's the same thing every week, like it's one of these. So that's how I've done it and it makes meal prepping easy. Same thing with a frozen bag of vegetables. It says three servings, so I will split this into three containers, three cups, and then it's, it's done. That's it. So that's how I save myself a lot of time. I used to track exactly like 85 grams, which I might start doing that the closer that I get to the show. But honestly, like vegetables, there's like hardly any calories in it, so it doesn't really matter. When it comes to carbs and fats, it does matter and getting protein, but like vegetables, it's like, okay, if I get a little extra grams or a little under grams of vegetables, it's not gonna hurt me. But this is what one of my little packs looks like for travel. I have rice and I put chicken, I think five ounces of chicken in here. And then I'm gonna fill it up with vegetables and it is ready to go. That way I like chicken tenders and beef because it's okay to eat cold. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I don't have access to a microwave or I'm lazy and I don't wanna go find the hotel microwave. So chicken tenders, I can eat cold and I, it's not great, but I can eat them cold without it being like gross tasting. So that's what I am doing. I'm halfway through 
meal prepping and I still will have to go to the store and like finish the second half once I have all of my groceries, but I'm waiting for my first delivery to get here at one. Okay, another little hack for adherence and serving size and everything is with almond butter because almond butter is very easy to over consume. This little packet has 180 calories. There's 15 grams of fat, 10 carbs and six protein. So this is for travel. It's two tablespoons, 32 grams. So when I travel, I will just group, do one of these per day if I have the fats and that way it makes it super easy to pack. I don't have to weigh anything. They're just in these little tubs or these little packets. This is a Simple Truth Honey Almond Butter Smooth. So I'm gonna pop these into my meals and I have these for the rest of the week too. Right now, I'll show you what it kind of looks like. These are my travel bags. So I have my carbs. I have two rice cakes. I have my almond butter and then I have my dinner and my lunch. I need to make breakfast. I haven't decided how I'm going to how I'm going to make it because it's egg whites. I'm supposed to have egg whites as my breakfast. I might have to pivot and do something different because egg whites don't travel super well. I might make it into a protein because I do have protein powder that I haven't put in here, so I might do an egg white pancake. Um, it takes a long time to make that, but I could do egg whites with protein mixed together uh, with some oats and like blend that into a pancake and that would be easier to travel. I don't have a blender, so I do need to go get a blender, but I could do that with blueberries and make it into a pancake so it's almost like a little easy. I'll have changed a little bit. I found some shrimp in my freezer, so we got some shrimp. This is like a quinoa rice bag that I had and then this is, what is it? Uh, mash cauliflower so I have some variety I basically almost fully meal prepped without having to go to the store so shout out to me for being savvy uh, sav savvy 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 I need three meals that don't have protein so I am five to 15 ounces short I'm I literally need to go to the store and get one pound which is great so if I get one more pound I'm good to go and that is almost the done, we're almost, almost the done, almost the done with meal prepping. For traveling, it is lunch, so I did steal one of these. So I have lean beef, I have rice and vegetables that I'm going to have for myself for lunch. I'm gonna have um, two rice cakes on, it's like a little snacky snack. I'm still drinking my water, I'm behind on getting all my water in. Okay, I'm not quite done yet, but um, I am at a good stopping point to go to the grocery store. It's 1.36 and I'm going to have one of these little muscle milks. Again, I've been, I've had every protein powder. I've tried literally almost probably everything. I started doing these because I was being lazy and I ran out of protein powder. So I went to the grocery store and was like, okay, I need something that has protein in it. These little muscle milk things. There's a little bit higher fat. It's 160 calories, but there is 25 grams of protein in it. It's already shake, like it's a shake. It tastes really good. You just drink it and that's that's it. So that's literally just milk. Sometimes I'll turn these into Ninja Creamies. I've been lazy, guys, and I haven't been doing it. And I haven't been having like that big of a sweet tooth lately. And I've been traveling and when I travel, I like can't take a Ninja Creamy machine with me. So cheers to this. I'm going to have two rice cakes and I just heated up that meal that has been sitting here for a minute. So I'm going to sit and have some a meal too, which is beef, rice, veggies, and a little protein shake. And then as I'm going out the door, I'm going to grab rice cakes to take with me. I do not like shopping when I am hungry because I make bad choices when I go to the grocery store. I was gonna get it delivered, but I actually selected pickup. So now I have to go pick up the groceries because I wasn't paying attention. So we'll have to go to the grocery store after this. And all right, so we're back. Look at all my groceries. And I ended up doing a little grocery haul from a bunch of different places. I haven't figured out a camera setup that I like yet. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is put you guys in the sink. Grocery haul going on, Bud is playing with his toy. 
but I ended up going to Ulta. So we have a little mini unplanned Ulta haul. So I went to Ulta and Dylan's and Target and that's it and Aldi. So I went to four places. So let me show you what I got a little Ulta, Ulta Beauty haul because I had a gift card and I have been wanting to get some things there and I got this little spray. It does smell really good. It's I've seen it on TikTok before. Yeah, it smells really good. So I got this spray, this perfume. It's called Pistachio and Salted Caramel. I did not know that it was pistachio because I'm allergic to that. To, 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 to pistachio but otherwise I think the smell is fine okay good molecules I was out of skincare so hyaluronic acid I wanted my brightening syrup syrup serum this is my favorite if you get one thing or I guess if you get two things these and then a hydrating facial oil so these are the little things from good molecules this is the brand that I have been using for this whole year and I was out of an eyebrow pencil so I did get an eyebrow pencil from NYX and my butter gloss this is the Sab Sharp staple gloss this is my favorite gloss tiramisu and praline okay so I have angel food or it's like angel food cake or something and it's really close to this color it's more of like a pink purple but I wanted to try out praline which is my favorite glosses so this is my favorite colors they stay all day it's just a cute it's like shiny but there's still pigment into it Mm -hmm. It's a little more pink. It stays all day. Love this. And what else do I get? Okay, so I got this little like crown. It's a jumbo face stick. NYX. And it's called in coconut cake color. It's a highlighter. And that's all that I wear. So to be like you could use it as a highlighter as eyeshadow and it just looks cute and I wanted something like this I don't know it's cute I love it it's cute so obviously unnecessary products that I didn't need, but being a girl is fun. So I did get those. I did get my prescription of Spironolactone that I was out of. And let's do a little tar Target haul. Target has these cute little bags that they give you, these reusable bags, love it. I needed protein powder for the week, so I got Ghost Chips Ahoy, such a good flavor. They didn't have the big tubs, which it's fine, but I wish they had the big tubs. And, oh my gosh, okay, so this was a clearance item. Look how freaking cute this is, you guys. There's a little S with a little butterfly and it's a gold necklace shine your way it's gold too so it won't um but i'm gonna wear this is a little s with a butterfly and i'm traveling this week and i don't have my nails done so i got some press on nails in white so i'm gonna put these on before i go and i got a cute little necklace so love that And I got a cute bag. I love bags. I don't really need all these bags, but I do have it now. Reusable shopping bag, which makes me want to go back to Target. So good job, Target. 
Um, okay, so let's get to the grocery haul. Honestly, my haul is a little bit smaller because I already meal prepped, but these are some of the things that are fun to incorporate in small doses. Fruity Pebbles, is this the most amazing, nutritious, great thing that you could have ever? No, but for macro carbs, since they're pretty high, I could have a half a cup to a full cup a day just for carbs for pre-workouts. So that could be a fun snack. And if I do a Ninja Creamy, then this is a good topping and I like Fruity Pebbles. Then Kodiak Cake, so I'm gonna make these for the morning. It's uh, kind of like a protein packed blueberry flapjack waffle mix and i did get these too because i was thinking that i might be able to travel with these i'm not exactly sure but these ones are the best these would be like fun again i have macro carbs so these could be fun pre-workout post-workout or just in the morning these are my favorite i needed some chicken so i'm gonna meal prep some more chicken i did get some protein powder so now i'm gonna weigh out my protein powder and then of course we had to get some sugar-free syrup and egg whites okay me and blue just went on a run and we're having some tacos with lean beef and these are like nacho tacos with some lettuce on there and a little bit of natural salsa so we're gonna have a bite of this oh my god mm, i could eat this every day made by my home chef. All right guys, so we just got back from a walk and everything. So that is gonna conclude this full day of eating. I ended up having tacos <laughs> for dinner and that was part of my plan. So I had four ounces of meat planned, I had some vegetables, so I did the shredded lettuce and then I had, I was gonna do rice, but instead I did taco shells. That's why macro flexible dieting is the way. So if you have something come up and you want to eat it, I had the calorie sports. I was able to do that. All right, don't forget to like and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another video. We are prepping. So this is week one, 20 weeks out. Don't forget to comment what you guys want to see for the rest of this YouTube bikini prep series.